What's up, bloggers? Train Dum Dum, come back at you again. Right there. We in a farming outfit. Oh yeah, he's got his muck boots on. It's a little muddy out here. It's warming up around it's here. It's not a little like, muddy. It's real muddy. Yeah, I know. All I you have are these. Walk up the hill without getting mud all over your feet. It's ridiculous. So what are you? T what are we telling them, Justin? I mean, what do you want to say? Here? So we've been kicking around the past. I don't. How long has it been? We've been since, kicking around. How long has it been? A since? A long time, Justin. We were supposed to get a donkey a long time ago, and we never did. Well, not just a donkey. We've been kicking around the idea of just getting another, another animal ever since old. Jack. What other kind of animal would you get? I don't know. That's up to them. Leave a comment down What'd below. What'd you name the donkey? What'd you say his name was? Was his name Jack? No. What was his name? Chip. Chip. I forgot. I thought it was. No, there was a Jack up there. Justin, that was a long time ago. Yeah, there was. That was the original form. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. Jill, di Jill died. I thought his name was Jack. It was we Jill. We lost two donkeys in this place. That's a, we got a bad situation for donkeys around here. Been kicking around for how long is the last video? Scared to buy another donkey, afraid of dagger thing will die on us. How long has that video been? How, how long ago was that? A few months? For what? The donkey died? Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, it's been it's been a while. Yeah, a few months and uh been kicking around different ideas on what other animal we get. I mean if we get a donkey, maybe another I didn't animal. Take a nap before we walk up the hill. Me another animal on top of that. We don't, we don't know yet, but that's what I thought maybe Maybe y'all want to leave a comment down below on what kind of animal you think we should get, right? Yeah. Something like that. So it's been, obviously, I guess it's snowing all over the place, but it snowed on us. Thought we'd show you all the goats, how they're doing in the conditions. So just to call it a farm update. So there's no update. We ain't done nothing. It looks exactly like it did before. So so we just decided we, we're going we're gonna to put... We don't have a lot of room fenced in back there. That's the problem. So we can't get no horses and gut, you know, and cows. And it's not like can them be like that. It's just got to be something kind of. Let me tell you something. In the winter, those of you out there that do have animals, they're a pain right in your hind end. You go out and bust ice and blah 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 blah. So, but that's what Carly and Lexi are supposed to do. Carly keeps on a little better than Lexi does, but <clears throat> that's the way it is, I guess. Yeah, I don't let like, Trey is the main one who likes the animals like that. I'm I'm good with a dog. Carly wanted the goats, so then we just decided to make it a Bell Life Farm. We should have had. Uh, I wish we had videos. I wish we still had the daggone donkey. I'm aggravated with the donkey. I wish we had videos from. It, it was the biggest hillbilly farm you could ever see in your life in the backyard. <laughs> it was an absolute. The smell in the summertime when it get about 100, 105 degrees. We, got, a little, got a little rude. It was like a, a 10 mile radius. Well, the whole could, backyard was fenced in. Oh my gosh. And it was fenced in with some high dollar fence too. There's there's some pictures. And I don't know. We had some, it looked, it was a hillbilly farm for sure. I don't know where them pictures are. There's some pictures of us doing that. What, yeah. fencing? Yeah, I don't remember. I, I've, I've seen them around. I just can't remember where they're at. Justin gets some mad because I'd say we're going to That's the main reason I don't like the animals. Is a, a lot. I don't want to put no more fence up. Well, it, it sucked pretty bad. It was old bit. chain link fence, rusty, all rolled up in a ball. You had to unroll it. Then you had to stretch it the best you could stretch it. I was using four wheelers, whatever I could to stretch it. And yeah. then we had them stupid, uh, the stupid pigs we had up there with rut root underneath the fence. So you had to take, so we had to take pieces of like straight, uh, like almost rebar, and bend it, and then smash it down at, uh, under the chain link fence and smash it to the ground to keep the chain link fence on the ground. And you had to go like every foot or two to keep the fence on the ground, or then pastors would dig it up. There's and then they'd get out, and it was just a mess. So Freaking pigs were having pigs. There was like 40 pigs. all kinds of chickens, but the stupid chicken hawks kept eating the chickens. So And more than that, there was all kinds. There was uh, probably 20, 20 chickens. Or a peacock too. Something ate the peacock from the head straight down. Left the body. Remember that? Yep. Through the, the fence. body was sitting on the post and ate it like just straight down, like a head head of, head of chicken dinner. Suppose, peacock dinner. Supposedly the original design for the donkey on the hill up there was supposed to deter the 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 predators. Yeah, they do. Well, the donkeys. Yeah, I don't know they if they're don't, get, They don't deter chicken hawks. They don't like goats. Remember that? Who? They were trampling the baby goats. Who was? The donkeys. Oh. There was that's, there, just, that's just an animal thing. It was infested back there. We had we had had like fifty animals at once back there. It was, it was getting infested. crazy. It was getting wild for a minute. Their brains infested. The stupidity. We'll go up there and check them out and see what they've been see what they've been up to. It's warming up, so the snow's melting. It's warming up. It's still forty degrees, thirty degrees. It's not really warming up. 
It's not like a, we're not out for an afternoon walk in the park here. Man, Garen's getting pretty far, but he's going to start sliding over the hill. Oh, man, I was looking when I was walking. Oh, he's been drinking when he backs that truck in there. I was looking if there's a place to walk up here. Right there, hear him? Just heard him. They hear us coming. You back a car back here or anything, man, they're ready to go. Oh, yeah, there's Garen's. There's Garen's jump. Garen's new truck. Might be able to walk up over here to the Man, I, this whole hill's melted off. I know. Might be able to walk to the left without getting completely. Well, that's kind of. Stay somewhat out of the mud. You can help it. Maybe over here. It's a gooey mess back here. And it doesn't help that we have a bunch of hillbilly kids that ride dirt bikes and motorcycles up here. They tear the yard all to pieces. Every time there's any bit of grass growing back here, they got to make it a point to come back here and try to tear it out. So, Look at them. They were out here yesterday pulling around each other in sleds, car hoods, and all kinds of hillbilly stuff. Oh. Look at them, they're all muddy. The one's trying to ride the other one, he's gay. Watch him. See the one in the back's gay. Two boys. I need to get over on the other side because it's. So we got a little bit of room back here. You gonna go in the hole? Yeah, it, it's it's well, focused. Let me put the feet down to keep these things occupied. It's focusing on the fence. Right there. Ready, dummy? Get up. There we go. Crap. Probably should have a hammer back there and it bust that ice. That's right there. I think she's using that little pick over there. No, it ain't. So I gave her a hammer. Oh, she's using a hammer to bust ice. Is there a hammer back there, you think? I know there is. I gave her one. See, that was a chicken coop. And the chicken's all. But during the day, man, there was a chicken hawk's nest back here in that tree. And that neighbor over there, that's a new neighbor now, but the old neighbor had a fit and wouldn't let me shoot him. I'm going to shoot the chicken hawks. See, they got plenty of bedding. Bedding, we keep them. Let them. We don't. We're not mean to them. There's a little hang out there. Hey. Try and get warm in there. Oh, here, this one. This one's. This one's not. This one's melted. Is it? Yeah. Where'd she put that hammer? I don't know. It looks like she broke this one yesterday because the ice is laying next to it. And she's been bringing up. She's been bringing up uh, hot water too in jugs. Might be able to kick it with my. I don't know where she put the hammer. A little bit of poop on that Tahoe wheel. Uh, don't put your boot in there with a bunch of mud, clown. Well, I just wonder if it's laying over here next to it or something. Crap, I'm gonna get water all over the lens. It's loose. Don't throw the ice out that floor. More on, you bust it up. And it's right there. The ice out before you know it, you ain't got no water left. Oh, wax on it. Where'd she have it at? In the, in the shed. I can get to it now. Yeah, we said that in the old farm video, but this, this tree line, well, it used to be a little bit more of a tree line, but from here all the way down to the back of the box truck, and then we fenced in from right where that yard starts and then ran all the way up this tree line right here and it all connected. It was, it was a lot. And then we had a hose, I think coming from the back of Trey's house up through the trees and up here. Oh yeah, I had power up here. I can't remember how many lengths of hose it was, but it was well, a I bunch. a couple different troughs, so two or three different troughs. And then she, there's the electric right there. Orange cord yeah, up in there. Yep. I don't know what happened to the other red gate. You just leave the water turned on. Uh, I don't remember what happened. The other red gate was down there. We sold it. Basically, we sold, where the, we sold the other animals. Basically, where the trailer's at. Remember the guy wanted the barrels. What they name these goats? Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. They are. They're. They're fur sticker in the winter, isn't it? Yeah, they get sticker in the winter. It's freezing out here. <laughs> Getting aggravated at each other. 
It's like trying to eat with Garen. Well, that's kind of what we wanted to. We've been kicking around for a while. I gotta pee. Ever since Chip, I don't know why. I guess because Jack was the old donkey. Ever since he died, and uh, about what to get. So that's what we thought. Well, maybe we'll make a video and see what they see what they think would be cool back here. Like he said, there's not a whole lot of room. I don't know how big this is. Not very big. Peeing over there. I don't know what. I guess obviously a miniature donkey. The pig thing. Pigs are the pig. The situation. Well, that's when we got the freaking started off with the male pig and then got the female pig and then it was a mess. Some guy come over here from FedEx. He wanted to buy it. They wanted. <laughs> His wife and him wanted wanted pot bellied pigs, and that's what we were raising. And then I tell you what, you take them baby pigs away from that away from that sow, buddy, and she has a fit. They bark at you. They, she she come at you like a raging pit bull. I tell you, it, it, I had it, a ball bat, I had aluminum ball bat, and that boy rolled up, and it was slicker than snot back here, man. I told him he wanted two of them. I said, well, you're going to get in there and help me catch them. I had a fishing net and a ball bat. You, that would have been something to have on video. <laughs> But man, he got in there that <laughs> I told him, I said, that, that Sal, she's gonna be pissed when we take him piglets away. And son, she come at him and he come out of there and run, to, scared for his life and jumped. He physically jumped the fence. When that, <laughs> and when his that, wife called him a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, that, that, that mom pig, like he said, would bark at you and she, <laughs> she was scarier. Oh, geez, she scared Dad plumb to death. Remember when Dad was up here? She scared me to death. She's scarier than a dog. On himself. I swear you think he did. It scared him plumb to death. I always had a ball bat, man. I told everybody got in there. When you start taking them piglets, you better have something to whack her in the head with, or she'll come out. She'll bite. She'll get you, buddy. She don't want you taking them babies. All you had to do is just kind of pop her once, and she'd back off. But man, I'll tell you what. She was meaner than a snake. You tried taking them piglets. See, originally she had how many how many litters did we have a lot gosh there's a lot of pigs 10 or 12 litters was it the pigs or the goats that were more of a pain in the butt when it had babies in the winter ah uh, the goats always got hung in the birth canal it was a situation no 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 i mean keeping them warm and stuff because we that's when we ran the electric up here i can't remember what it was well, when the bait when they when our, she was getting ready to be have birth he tried to take her in the house or in the basement she couldn't hardly do it out here in the you know we had a couple still births and everything else it's a pain in the butt man you start trying to people out there that actually farm and know what they're what you're talking about it's a i had a, we had a one pig me she got hung halfway out killed the mother and the baby <laughs> couldn't get her out yeah that was I, a... we had to take her to the vet and everything the vet couldn't do and the vet had to put her down it's a bad situation man you can't have much of a heart and be a farmer i've, I've seen people that you know if you if you really freak out about animals you can't you can't be a farmer because they'll come up here and they're dead and you know you just have to suck it up and deal with it that's just the way it works worst thing i ever did was nut pigs that was nasty that was a that and freaking and then tagging cattle tagging them cattle you put hit it with her ear and they just her, her ears look like swiss cheese it just and it's just bloods running all down all and they're shaking her head flipping blood all over it's a mess yeah i couldn't get into that no it ain't no fun so, and you well, people think you want to be farmers and raise animals you better have a mentality of uh you don't care. You don't care. Because if you care, they can definitely bother you. There's Brantley home from school. Walking in right now. But yeah, that's what that's what this whole video is about. And uh, I don't know. We're going to have to get another miniature jack. <laughs> well, they might hit. I wouldn't mind getting two donkeys. Two small donkeys. But them <laughs> things are expensive. They yeah, like five, six hundred bucks a piece. No, we paid like eight hundred dollars for a chip. Is that how much it was? Yeah, and two weeks later. What? I thought later, we got a deal on them other ones. here, belly up. That's a bad deal. All four legs in the air. There goes your $800 right down the road. You know, that sucks. And yeah, they don't give you no refunds either. No, you're screwed. He choked on a piece of hay or whatever the reason is. I ain't no reason. He just died. Had a bad day. I mean, I don't know what else you're supposed to say. So. But that's where we're at. So we, uh. Can't Maybe. really do chickens because they get eaten. And hey, what else is there? Chickens are cheap though. They get eaten. You just kind of replace them. Once one dies, you just throw another one in the, the hole. Pig, the, the, the pigs are funny. I like I like the pigs, the but the pigs they're... are a pain in the ass, Justin. No, just one pig. Well, not multiple pigs. I don't know if you could really do one pig up here. You could probably do one pig by itself. That, that, they're a, then you got to make you got to make slop and everything else. Pigs are hard to fool with. 
Well, I guess the donkey's probably easy as a goat, isn't it? Yeah, the donkeys, you just dump some feed and walk away from it. And they can live on, I like the fact that they can live on hay, too. When you gotta feed them every day and, you know, come up and water them and feed them every day, that's just a, that's a pain. Yeah. I'm you. <laughs> He's trying to bite his hind in there. But that's I don't know kind why you can't stand just like that neat. Why you gotta sit there and I sit think there? their horns hit each other and they get mad or they something. The ones that she keeps growling. And he just had the body for no reason. Then they step all in the food, poop in the food, and everything else, bunch of nasty critters. Disgusting. That's what we have for y'all. We want to live, give y'all an update. We've seen some comments in past vlogs about how the, the Bell Life Farm was coming. changed. That's why I told Justice, let's do an update. I said, update on what? We haven't changed anything. Well, we get off our hind end and go get buy another buy another donkey or something. But I don't know, llamas? Anybody know anything about llamas? Oh, yeah, them when the alpacas, they spit, yeah, don't they? They spit, something <laughs> like that. Something kind of funny that we could add to the farm. Oh, there's Garen back. That isn't too much of a pain in the butt. Yeah. yeah, something like that. That's what I mean. If you all leave a comment down below on people on that what, actually have raised different different type of animals, the easier they are to raise, the better. And what you think we should get, and then and then maybe we'll we'll go from there and get. Well, obviously we're going to get something, but wanted to fill you all in on it, give you a chance. Yep. Thanks a ton for all the support. Of course, subscribe here. Subscribe to Ask the Bell Life. Check us out on thebelllife.com where all our comedy jackass stuff is. Since YouTube won't let us have that on here. And uh, and then we've been kind of we've been kind of getting a little bit more active on old TikTok, and I think it's the Bell Life underscore official is our TikTok. So check that out. And, That's really stupid. Yeah, but y'all get your set of muck boots. Come on out and join us in the farm. And then we for sure will give you an update when we're either going to get something or if you guys like the farm videos or whatever, just let us know. Have a great day. Thanks.